Hey everybody, welcome to the exercise video. My name is Alex from Gym Guys and this is Rob from Gym Guys. So I'm gonna be doing all the exercises standing. Rob is gonna be doing all the exercises seated. So if you have trouble getting out of a chair, just follow along with Rob and do the seated version. So we're gonna start with mobilizing all the joints in the body and we're gonna start with the neck. Now when we do any of these movements, what you want to keep in mind is you wanna keep the body under tension and you also want to avoid any spots of pain. So if you're moving in a certain direction and you feel pain, just move around that and just go to your end range of motion wherever that is comfortably for you. So for the neck, we're gonna keep the core tight. So squeeze all these muscles here. We're gonna take our arms, we're gonna cross them over the shoulders and we're gonna push hands into the shoulders. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears, building a little bit of tension, pulling shoulders down. You're gonna take your chin and you're gonna draw it to the chest. From here, roll the chin over towards the left shoulder. Then left ear towards left shoulder. Chin up towards the ceiling, going from left to right. Nice and slow. Right ear to right shoulder. Chin to right shoulder. Back down to the chest. Gonna do two more circles in this direction. Chin to left shoulder left ear to left shoulder bring the chin up towards the ceiling rolling over from left to right right ear towards right shoulder chin towards right shoulder back down through the chest one more in this direction chin to shoulder ear to shoulder up and around ear to shoulder chin to shoulder back down now we're going to reverse it so chin over towards the right shoulder, right ear to right shoulder. Bring the chin up, roll it over from right to left. Left ear, left shoulder, chin to left shoulder. Back down through the middle and again. Chin to the right, ear to shoulder, up and around. Left ear to left shoulder, chin to left shoulder chin to chest, and one more time. Chin to shoulder, ear to shoulder, bring the head back and all the way around. And again, ear, chin, back down to the chest. Great, so we're now gonna go on to the shoulder blades. So for this movement, once again, keep tension throughout the body. You wanna squeeze all the muscles in the core. Keep your hands down by your sides and pull them down as far down as they'll go. From here, keep them pulled down. Push scapula forward, push the shoulder blades forward. Bring it up towards the ears. Keep it up and squeeze back behind. Keep and squeeze back behind and down. Down and forward. Forward and up. Up and back. Back and down. One more time in this direction. Down and forward. Forward and up, up and back, back and down. Now we're gonna reverse direction. So pull the shoulders down, squeeze them back behind. Bring them up towards the ears while well, squeeze back behind. Up and forward, forward and down, down and back, back and up, up and forward, forward and down, down and back back and up, forward, and relax. We're now gonna go over towards the shoulder. If you have trouble standing and doing this, refer to Rob for the seated version. Take your arms out in front of you, keep your core tight. You wanna squeeze the shoulder blades back and down as you rotate your thumbs out away from the body. Remember, avoid any spots of pain that you do this. So keeping your shoulder blades squeezed, raise the palms up, then take your thumbs, Try to get them to go back behind your head. Again, avoiding any spots of pain. Rotate the thumbs in, arms straight, squeezing the shoulder blades as we go down behind us. Down to the side, we're now gonna reverse direction. So, arms back, rotate out. Reach for behind the head, try to engage all the muscles on your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down and down. We're gonna do two more of these. So arms out in front, squeezing the shoulders back and down, externally rotate. Raise up, thumbs pointing behind, 
Rotate in, squeeze in the shoulder blades as you're going through this range of motion. Back behind, reverse direction. Again, remember you want to isolate movement to just the arms and the shoulders here. The spine shouldn't be changing position at all. And one more time, our arms out in front, squeeze back and down, rotate out, up, thumbs pointing back behind, rotate forward, all the way back and around. And one more time, reverse direction. Up and behind the head, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, and relax. All right, so now we're gonna be going to our elbows. So. Have your arms out in front at 90 degrees. You wanna turn the hands all the way out. Keep the core tight, just like with all the other movements. You wanna bring the hands towards the shoulders. Rotate the palms forward and slowly lower down as you keep trying to rotate the hand. Good, rotate out the other way. Bring them up towards the shoulders. Keep trying to rotate the hand. Rotate in, down nice and slow. And again, rotate out up rotate in down nice and slow we're now going to reverse direction so come up rotate out down rotate in come up rotate out down one more time rotate in come up rotate out and down great so we're now going to go to our wrist keep the arms at 90 degrees again flex the wrist down trying to isolate movement to just the wrist you wanna bring it through the full circle, so fingers up towards the ceiling, back down towards the ground. Trying to draw a circle with the wrist as we're going through this movement. Again, you wanna avoid any spots of pain. One more through this circle here. And now we're gonna reverse direction. So circle back the exact opposite direction. Bringing the wrist all the way up, drawing the circle with your hand, coming up and back down. Great, so now we're gonna go to our spine. Again, if you have trouble doing this standing, refer to Rob for the seated version. So you wanna start with the chin and work one vertebrae at a time going down, trying to get as much spinal segmentation as you can. So chin tucks, keep curling down like you're undoing a zipper. The upper back wants to finish moving first. Curling all the way down, like I'm curling myself down to a ball. Reaching down towards the ground. And then trying to think of one vertebrae at a time, coming back up. So with the lower back first, uncurling the entire body. Back to straight, and we're gonna do it again. So start with the chin, tuck the chin, have all the vertebrae in your neck, fold one by one, go to the upper back, to the lower back, all the way down. Again, with any of these movements, you wanna avoid any areas of pain and just work with whatever range you can that's pain-free. One more time. Start with the head, curl in, down. One vertebrae at a time, just like you're undoing a zipper. All the way down and then all the way back up. All right, so now that we did the upper body, we're now gonna go to our lower. We're gonna start with the hips. So when we're doing the hips, we wanna isolate movement to just the hip joint. We don't want too much twisting and turning from the spine. We don't want any leaning over or leaning back. Grab something that you can hold onto for support and you're going to bring the knee up as high as you can go across the body. Then keep it high out to the side. Rotate down, push the foot back behind you. And again, come up, out to the side. Rotate down and back. One more time, up, out to the side. Foot goes behind the body. Now we're gonna reverse direction. Again, if you need to do this seated, refer to Rob. Kick the foot back, bring the knee up, up and across the body. One more time. Kick back, do the side, across the body, and down. Great, so now we're gonna go to our other leg. 
So again, core stays tight, isolating movement to just the hip. We're gonna raise the knee up and across the body. Bring it out to the side. Rotate the knee down. Foot goes back behind, going through your full range of motion. And again, knee comes up and across the body. Out to the side. Foot starts going back. Up, out to the side. Rotate the knee down, foot goes back, back to the center line. Now we're gonna reverse direction, and foot goes back, knee comes up, come in across the body, and again, foot goes back, knee comes up, across the body, and down. All right, so now that we did our hips, we're gonna go to the knees. So, take something, hold on to it, or you can do this version seated just as easily. So you want to keep the ankle flexed towards you and turn the entire leg out. You want to bring the leg up and turn the entire leg in and down. So turn out, come up, turn in, come down. Turn out, come up, turn in, come down. Now we're going to reverse direction. So turn in, we're going to bring the leg up and extend. Turn out, bring it back in. Turn in, extend the leg. Turn out, bring the leg back in. And one more time. Turn in, bring the leg up. Turn out, bring it in. Great, we're now gonna go over to the other side. So again, you're going to flex the foot towards you. You're gonna start by turning in and extending the leg out all the way. Then turn out and bring the leg in towards the thigh. Good, so again, in, out, bring the leg in, in, out, and now reverse direction. So straighten out the knee, turn back the other way, turn out, come up, turn in, come down, turn out, come up, turn in, come down. Great, so now we're gonna go over to the ankle. Again, refer to Rob for the seated version. So we're gonna lift the leg just slightly and we're gonna flex the foot towards us as much as we can. We're now gonna keep it flexed towards us and in, then point down, start pointing the toe out, bring it back up, turn in, down, out, up, in, down, out, up, now reverse direction. So out, down, turn in and up, out, down, turn in and up, and one more time. Out, down, in and up. Great, so now we're gonna do the other foot. So same thing, lift the leg up, you're gonna flex the ankle towards you, you're gonna point out, flex the foot down, flex it in, come back up. Flex out, point down, flex in, come up. Flex out, point down, flex in, come up. Now reverse direction. So up and in, in and down, out, up, out, down, out, up, in, down, out, and up. Stick around for part two. Welcome back to part two of the exercise video. Once again, my name is Alex from Gym Guys. This is Rob from Gym Guys. I'm gonna be doing the standing version of all the exercises and Rob is gonna be doing the seated version. So if you have trouble getting up, then you can just follow along with Rob, but if otherwise, you can follow along with me. So for the first one that we're gonna do, we're gonna do standing marches. Grab something to hold onto if you need something for balance. And we're just gonna be raising the knee up as high as it can go, hold for a sec, and back down and to the other side. As high as I can go and hold. And up again, three and four and five. We're gonna be going to 10 and six and seven and eight and nine. Last one, 10. Great, so we're gonna step this movement up a notch. 
Again, grab a hold of something for support if you need it. And we're going to take our, our elbow and we're going to bring it to the knee. So as we do this, we want to squeeze all the core muscles as much as we can. So engage all the abdominals. And it's going to look like this. Squeeze. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Five more. Six. Squeeze. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Great. Switch sides. And again, from the top. One. Squeeze. Two. Three. Four. And five. Engage the core. Six. And seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Great. All right. So we're gonna be moving back to the hip. Again, follow along with Rob if you need to do the seated version. So, hip straight out to the side for one, two, three, four, five, hold and squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Great, other side. And again, one, two, three, four. Make sure you squeeze at the end. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. So now that the hips are all warmed up, we're going to be doing squats. Again, if you're uncomfortable with this movement, refer to Rob for the seated version. And what you want to do is Keep the core tight. You're gonna push the hips back. So watch, hips go back. Knees don't start to travel forward yet. Hips back, squat down, and back up. For one, and two, three, and four. Make sure you're pushing the knees out as you're doing this. And five, and six, Seven, push the knees out, hips go back. And eight. Nine, last one. 10. All right, so now that we work the lower body, we're gonna go to the upper. Keep your core tight as much as you can. Arms out in front. You wanna squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. Drive the elbows back, rotate up, make a W shape, and back. Arms out in front, drive the elbows back, make a W, good, two, and again, squeeze back and down, arms come up, three, and again, drive the elbows back, up, four, five, gonna do five more, six, and seven, and eight, squeeze back and down, good. Two more, nine, last one, and 10. Great, so I want you to reach for your shoulders, bring your arms up, again, only as far as you feel comfortable. There shouldn't be any pain in the shoulder or during this movement. And once again, refer to Rob for the seated version. Bring the arms up and just start drawing circles forward. For one, two, three, Four, just small circles, five. Now reverse direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Great, so now we're just gonna be doing a little spinal twist. All you're gonna do is focus on keeping your hips straight on. Pretend the bottom half of you is stuck in cement and try to isolate the movement to mainly just the top part of your body. And you're gonna twist to the side for one, Twist the other side, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Great. So to end this, we're going to just review a little bit of proper breathing. And I want you to take one hand, Put it on the upper belly area, one hand on the upper chest area, 
and I want you to breathe through the nose. Exhale out. As you do so, you want to make sure that the hand on the upper belly area rises and falls, but the hand on the chest shouldn't move too much. And deep inhale in through the nose. Long, slow exhale out. And again, deep inhale through the nose. Long, slow exhale out. Three more times. Deep inhale. Long, slow exhale out. Two more times. Deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. And last one. Deep inhale through the nose. And long, slow exhale out. Calming down the body a little bit, releasing a little bit of tension. Thank you so much for participating in this exercise video. Hope you have a great day.